Hey guys, what is going on? It is Kelly from Mancus Rob Fishing. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video of basically all the fishing things. Yes, only fishing things that I got for Christmas. Because I didn't really get much else. Except a four-wheeler, which I'll show you guys at the end of the video. I'll leave a picture down below. Or, not down below. I'll leave a picture uh, at the end of the video. First thing I got, this was from, uh, I think it was from my Uncle Scott. Strike King Pro Mini Pro Buzz. one eight ounce top water buzz bait. Great for ponds. Next thing I got, this was from Uncle Brian, the Rebel Pop R. Let me see what color this is in. Mm, I have no idea what color. I think this is in Smoke Shad, I'm going to have to say. Really, really good bait for the river. Let me zoom in on that. Really, really good bait for the river. Rebel Pop R with the, red, or with the pink and red mouth. Also got another Rebel Pop R. I like this color a little bit better. It's Sexy Shad. Zoom back out. Sexy sexy Shad color. She had a dot right there. Very, very good uh, flakes in it. Orange mouth. Looks like a bluegill or some kind of shad. Feathered treble. And the Foxy Mama color. That's pretty funny. This one is in the... Just the plain pop bar. Next thing I got, the Strike King Mini King Bleeding Spinnerbait. Pretty cool spinnerbait, 1 8 ounce. There it is. It's got two silver blades. The red hue in the eyes. It's actually a really, really good bait. I've used them before. It looks to be very, very high quality. Strike King Lure Company Bleeding Spinnerbait. Zoom back out. Next bait I got is, this is I think the... What is this? Ah, oh, doesn't say. Uh, the one six. I'm pretty sure this is a one sixteenth ounce rooster tail. Warden's rooster tail original. This is just in the white color. I think I got a couple more. Oh nope. This is the heart spinnerbait. Now it's pretty funny because that's what my last name is, heart spinnerbait. Uh, not spinnerbait, but my last name's heart, which is pretty cool. I got the heart spinnerbait. Uh, what color is this? Cold water killer color. This is actually pretty cool color. Cold water killer. That's pretty cool. It's got a ball bearing swivel. It's got a must-add ultra point hook. Next thing I got, this is one of my favorites. Panther Martin, best of the best. Deadly six pack with red hooks. I got three one sixteenth ounce. Yeah, one sixteenth ounce. And then I got three one eighth ounce. Very, very expensive, high quality baits. This is from my Uncle Brian. Thank you very much for these baits. Very high quality. Panther Martin 6, Panther Martin Spinners. I imagine that's pretty expensive. Oh, is there any other hard baits left? I'll do the hard baits first. I didn't get very much soft baits. Two other hard baits, guys. Then I got the Z Man Chatter Bait. This is the, in the flashback. Flashback Mini Z Man's Chatter Bait. Zoom in. Very holographic type shad bait. Looks very realistic. It's got a swim bait. A swim bait for a trailer. And then it's got the twister tail trailer. Looks very, very good for smallmouth. I've actually used these before. Caught a few fish. And then the... Oh, one sixteenth ounce rooster tail special edition. Look at the blade on this thing. I think it's just sweet looking. Looks exactly like a rainbow trout. That's very cool. 116th ounce white body rainbow trout blade. Now the soft baits, guys. That was just a coupon. KVD Perfect Plastics Fat Baby Finesse. This is a really good bait, guys. This is in the 12 pack green pumpkin. KVD Perfect Plastics. It's got the coffee scent impregnated in it. I think it's a 5 inch worm. Am I right? I can't see it. Alright. Yep, 5 inch worm. Mm, I think it's about 4. What's really, really cool about this bait is that it's got a divoted tail. You see that light reflect on there? The tail is hollow on the inside. That's pretty cool. 
It's got the signature coffee scent. Very good bait. Using this at uh, just a couple local ponds. In the river, probably. I don't know if smallmouth like that, but looks like a very good bait. Let's see what we got. Gary Yamato 4 inch double tail hula grub. 10 pack green pumpkin black flake. Look at these things. These things are sweet. These are real high quality, real expensive baits. It's a green pumpkin, black flake, hula grub, four inch. Very unique bait, smallmouth right here. This has just got smallmouth all over it. it. Smells just nice too. Let me tell you that. It smells just nice. Use it on a jig head, or you can probably Texas rig it if you want to. What should we do next? I think we're gonna do another Gary Yamato bait, five inch Gary. Yam 5 inch Yamato Cinco, 5 inch Yama Cinco, smoke with black and purple flag. I always use this. This is my favorite color for Cinco's. This and green pumpkin. The flakes in there. Smallmouth. This is just smallmouth. First time I ever used one of these, I actually caught 16 smallmouth in one day on three of these. Very, very delicate expensive baits so 16 on 3 Gary Mato Cinco's, Yama Cinco's very good we're gonna save I think the best for last oh I forgot about these too we'll have to do them next thing we got we got the Jackal Jackal Flick Shake new finesse technique from Japan pretty cool 5.8 inches this is good for wacky rigging I'm actually gonna go off the trails a little bit from what they're doing now I'm actually gonna put this on a uh, on a jig head actually I'm gonna try it on a jig head at the pond at I'm gonna try it on a jig head at the pond or I'm definitely trying it weightless that's how I fish all my plastic worms is weightless unless it's in the winter time that's when I fish them uh, weighted it's actually a pretty big bait this looks great for the pond, guys. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna be sliding them for the pond. Like I said, 5.8 inches. What color is this? June bug. I knew it was June bug. And then, oh, not that yet. Next, we got the trailer hook from Striking. I got a couple trailer hooks from my uncle. Spinner bait, buzz bait, chatter bait. Trailer hooks. Now to the best. Uncle Skip got me this. Man, look at that. The Rage. Tail hog rage hog six pack. This is in the summer craw color. This is in a six pack. Now, this is freaking sweet. Just look how big that pack is on hand. I've never seen them packed like this. And look at this. Oh man, they're in a sheet actually. You can see the summer craw pattern. I'm not going to take them out, guys. I don't want to. Ruin them yet. Because sometimes when you take them out, they'll dry out pretty good. Well, this video is probably going to be over 10 minutes, guys. I'm very, very sorry. I didn't mean it to be this long. Now to the non baits. I really got quite a few baits, but also got some stuff that are non baits and that helped me in my fishing career. Whew. Alright. Right here, I got the Cabela's Scale. Cabela's digital scale. Now you guys can't complain and moan about my weights. Because I got a scale now. A lot of people they do. A lot of people complain about my weights. Next we got the Gerber Prodigy, I'm pretty sure. Gerber Prodigy. Or no, Gerber Tactical Knife. Pretty sweet knife. I'm going to be keeping this in my tackle box. Probably use it for some bushcraft. What does it have on it? Some crumbs. Pretty sweet. Hang on. I'm just going to get a... Just like that. Pretty sweet. This video is going to go over 10 minutes, guys. I'm very sorry. Uh, Cabela's Filet Knife. Really, really unique filet knife. Now, we're going to have to stop here, guys, because I'm running out of time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys better be staying tuned for the next video that I have. Because it's just going to be covering three more items after this. Get back to you guys.